Thank you so much, Mattel Creations, for sending me my order in a timely fashion because I just ordered these not too long ago and I received them super quickly. So thank you so much for that. Hi, my name is Aging BJD and today I'm going to show you how I pack a comb. So I like buying these king size slim papers. And you're pretty basically gonna take one and you're gonna tear it. Excuse my nails too. Uh, I work with a lot of isopropyl or alcohol, iso, and um, it dissolves my nail polish, so I'm sorry. And excuse my tummy. I'm gonna eat here shortly. So, I have this stick and it's an angled stick. So the top is skinny and the lower part is thicker. And I ripped my paper like this. Okay. So if you look at this, this little line right here, it kind of, I kind of ripped it to reflect the cone. Okay. Now you're going to put it, put the stick in there. Let me, let me turn it with you. You're gonna pinch the edge. Put the paper in there at an angle. You see how this part right here is kind of hanging loose? Roll and then lick and finish rolling. Lick. Finish your cone. Okay. See? Now you have this. Now you have this. Now, what you want to do is get your tips. Unless you have a joint that you smoked already and it had a tip. You could always recycle, reuse, or you can roll this. Okay. You're just gonna follow the folds. And roll it. If you let it go, it'll it'll open on its own. I have one of these that I like to smoke, so sometimes I like to see if this will fit in here. So you can do that. But also be mindful of the tip of your paper. You know when it's time to switch your hat and what not to talk about in front of certain people. And I find that I don't like to talk about my material things to people because they have the tendency of getting jealous or not quite understanding why anyone would spend so much money on that um, when they're, in their opinion, they're like, but there's bills and stuff that you could use all that money for. And it's like, but because my bills are paid, that gives me the leeway to buy the things that I want. Not all your money should be dedicated to the boring things in life, those serious things in life, like paying your rent or mortgage, paying your car note, or paying for car insurance. Um, all those things are very important. And once those things are rightfully paid, that that you took your check and you divided mm -hmm. it you said okay lord help me 
so that everything can get paid here. Let me see what I have left over. Let's see what I can do here. It's like once everything that's major and super important gets paid, you should be able to relax and enjoy your money and do as you please so as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. You shouldn't have to change your hat when speaking to certain people just because it seems like you have more than they do. But unfortunately, this is the world we live in. So I have friends that I can't say, yeah, I just spent $70 on a Barbie. They would like literally scream. Yeah, a therapist would charge you how much an hour or how much for a session. It's literally over $150 usually just to talk to a therapist when I can buy my therapy right here. This thing that I bought is gonna be with me till it's not with me. So a therapist is like, okay, you cried, you got that stuff out, but you still feel like shit because you're still going through that. And now you're out of money. So now it's like, fuck, I don't have nothing to show for. I just cried to a complete stranger. I cry to myself and then I make myself feel better by buying things that I want to talk about on my channel and buying things that I want because I worked hard and I deserve it. I'm suffering physically from many, many years of working. I'm suffering on so many different levels with so many different things from being in, in this situation of inflation. I need to give myself something. I think we all deserve to give ourselves something. And even if that something is more frequent than the next person, it doesn't matter. It's your money. As long as your shit gets paid, it doesn't matter how you choose to spend your money and on what. Which leads me to my next point. If you have friends that you can't really fully share your life with because it seems to kind of uh, warrant some unnecessary comments from them, then kind of slowly but surely cut ties with those type of people. Honestly, you don't need somebody making you feel like shit because you can afford something and they can't. What do you mean? You spend your money on what you want to spend your money on. Don't be mad at me for practicing the same luxury, you know? I have something a little different for you. Um, I received my Skipper doll and I also received my Out of Fright Operetta doll. Um, we are going to be opening these. Let me grab my scissors. I've received also some cute shoes from Shein and this black lipstick that I'm wearing. Uh, I also received it, I believe, from Shein or from Timo. It's just a basic black liquid lipstick. Uh, I put a little bit of eyeshadow over it to keep it, keep it looking cute, keep it good. Um, I want to really be careful opening this. But yeah, I got a few things, and so I decided. To throw this black lipstick on. It's also getting kind of hot today. I hope that my friend's son has a wonderful little birthday. I'm sure he will. Um, so I just kind of want to examine the doll. What a face up is looking like. She is stunning in person. Out of sight operetta. She's beautiful. Wow, her hair. 
the little spider. She's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Um, I see a flaw in my gown already. So right where there's supposed to be like two perfect lines where the titty goes, I have one line that looks more, a bit more on the center and the buttons seem to be off just slightly, but that's not that noticeable. And I think that's probably even an easy fix. Wow, she is so pretty. They blushed her cheeks. She is so cute. I wish they would have painted her nails. Beautiful. Um, set Operetta to the side with her pretty little self. Her face up is perfect and everything, so. You know. This doll. Wow, they put this in this really tough box to open because this is a collector's item. I feel like. I feel like you can tell the difference between the boxes because of how they close them. I hate these boxes because like you can cause so much damage to them. Come on, baby. What's up? What? Yeah, I know. Every time I do one of these type of unboxings, I say the same thing about these boxes, like. I don't want to completely massacre the box trying to look at my doll. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm so out of frame. You guys are just looking at me stabbing at this box, but I really want to be careful because this is Skipper. to work on that make an easier box i should not have to stab so hard into my box like what if i damage my doll's box i'm gonna be pissed off hey what do you want she's special it says little sister skipper became the first official barbie family member when she debuted in 1964. She has been one of the longest running characters since her arrival. Like the original, she has a straight hair style and cute bangs accessorized with a headband. Dressed in a sweet nautical look swimsuit, she's ready to enjoy the day at the beach with her big sister and friends. No more than 20,000 were made worldwide. They made 20,000 of these. 60 years of Skipper. got the cute little skipper tag on her hand. She's got these cute little flat skipper shoes. Um, let's see. Cause I'm like, what the hell is that chinky ass noise? Oh, her stand says Skipper on it. Her certificate of authenticity, which is always important for a doll collector. Right on the side here, it's got her brush and comb on the side of the box. There you go. Fits in there nice and snug. Her headband is sewn onto her head. She is so totally giving Silkstone, like everything about her flesh tone, the color of her face, her weight. I can feel that she is a Silkstone, like what an amazing purchase. Thank you so much Mattel Creations for sending me my order in a timely fashion because I just ordered these not too long ago and I received them super quickly. So thank you so much for that. 
And also I ordered the cartel furniture set. I'm so excited to be getting that. The reason why I decided to order these expensive ass little chairs was because I feel like I miss out on little Barbie stuff like that all the time. I'm like, every time Mattel Creations has like a Barbie box or a Barbie house or just a doll that I kind of want, it seems to always be out of the way of like when I have the money to spend for them and I miss out and then I go on eBay and eBay is being you know eBay is eBaying and people are being scalpers on there and hey make your money you know like if you have something and it's sold out congratulations but damn damn you know and so I didn't want it to be the case with the silkstone doll and I do have me a cute fuchsia and fur and she has eyelashes unlike this girl who doesn't have any eyelashes um who cares who cares i wonder if this comes off no it's not looking like that it would have been the shit if they would have just made it just a bit more modern and you could take this shirt off and really wear this as a swimsuit i know this is supposed to be a doll that's inspired by like the 50s and the 60s like i get it but man that would have been the shit and i would have loved the headband more if it would have been red white or even like a different material not this gold i don't know why they put that gold on there i think it's kind of dumb um but that's just an opinion i think i stated that in the other video but i still proceeded to buy her because I don't have a skipper like her and I've been wanting a skipper and I'm still collecting silk stones and collecting OMG dolls, some brats because I don't really collect brats, but I've just been collecting around different things and not necessarily sticking to the silk stones. They are so expensive and Mattel Creations isn't getting with the program making these. I feel like they need to get with another designer and make more silk stones. I think that they should make more articulated, limited edition, very beautiful silk stone dolls. They need to just come back, come back, you know? And also please continue to make awesome Monster High dolls. Like who the fuck doesn't want a good Monster High doll? Like I'm so happy with my operetta. Like, please. But yeah, she looks like this badass little sister like Barbie's like, hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the concession stand. And now she's just like looking for shoes to like unlace and like tie the shoelace together. Like she has this like little badass kid look to her that I'm just like living for it. <laughs> I love doll collecting. I love it. I love her box too. Oh, it does say it, genuine silkstone body. This is Silkstone. Yes, it is. Oh, I love my Silkstones. Mm -hmm.